So, we're headed to the animal shelter. So what happened was, a couple of weeks ago, and it's just the two girls and I, I'm leaving t our two older sons at home. But a couple of weeks ago, we were, um, there was a stray cat that was running around the neighborhood. And it was really friendly, but I could tell it was pregnant, and it kept climbing our fence and getting into our backyard. And we have dogs that do not, they don't like cats. So I had to remove the cat from our backyard so that we could put our dogs outside. And in the process of that, um, I was bitten and so was Molly, the one in the back seat back there. So we could not determine who the cat belonged to. So we didn't know if it had um, shots or not. So animal control came and picked up the cat and held the cat for 10 days. And we've been in constant contact with them because the cat was a sweet cat but it was pregnant. So, um, it, it being pregnant made it a little bit irritable, I think. Um, even though it was really, really friendly, it didn't like its tummy touched or messed with. So, we had them hold it so we could make sure that it was okay. And now we have gotten a call from them stating that the cat's doing well. The cat had four kittens. It's super sweet. And they've all enjoyed playing with it. But they wanted to know if we would be willing to... Um, that... Like I was saying, they wanted to know if we would be willing to foster the kittens and keep the cat. And so we have agreed to do that. So we have no supplies for kitties. We only have dogs. And I'm a sucker, obviously. So we, and my husband is too, because he's the one ca that called this morning and told me this through a monkey wrench in our plans. But so is the flexibility of homeschooling. So we are headed to the dollar store to get some supplies for the cat. The animal shelter um, recommended that we get um, kitten food for her for the extra nutrients since she's nursing. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to wind up adopting the grown cat. The kittens we will be fostering and they have to be returned in six weeks. And um, I'm trying to line up friends to adopt those kittens. And then, um, so that's what it's looking like. <coughs> so I have one with uh, Summer Cold again. And I haven't posted in a while. I haven't done a vlog in a while because we have been busy swimming and enjoying our last few days of summer. Yesterday it was 94 degrees. This morning it's already 87 degrees. Today it's going to be a hot one too. But I don't think we're going to have time to swim today. We're, we have a sewing, a handicrafts class at our local library. So we're excited about that. But this morning I have to take care of this kitty. So we're off to get supplies. You can come with us if you want. Okay, so we got a scoop. Now you need a litter box. Okay. Uh, yeah, a dish. Okay, now I would get some of the kitty litter. Some kitty food. Okay, we're ready to check out. So supplies are purchased for the kitty and the kittens, and we are headed to the animal shelter to pick her up now. And makes me sad because I don't think this is the first set of kittens this cat has so it just goes back to being a responsible pet owner and if you have pets please make sure you get them spayed or neutered and that's what we're going to do with this cat once she weans her kittens we since we are in the adoption uh, foster program for the animal shelter they when we return the kittens then they will spay her so she won't be having any more kittens and then all of her shots will be up to date. So, we're off again. We're here at the animal shelter and we're getting ready to go in and pick up the cat and her kittens. And I was telling the girls that years ago, our older two children, they were homeschooled as well, but they were volunteers at the animal shelter when they were still in high school. And they would volunteer to come and take the dogs out and walk them. And that was fantastic. That was a great thing for them to be able to do. So, um, I highly encourage you, if you live in an area with an animal shelter, to think about volunteering. The dogs need to get out of their cages, and they need to be walked. And so, it was great for our kids to be able to do that, and they really enjoyed it. And tomorrow, we're having our very first meeting of our, our service group of the year and in years past we have done uh, food drives for the animal shelter so I'm hoping we can do that again this year and when I'm inside I'm going to talk to them about that and see if I can pick up a list of supplies that they might need so we're getting ready to go in
it's 12.49. Okay. And so here she is at home with her four kittens. We named the mama cat. Her name's Millie. Her name is Millie. That one's mm -hmm. name is Pumpkin. That one's named Autumn. That one's named Pepple. And then that one's named Shadow. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. There's a little bitty baby. Oh, it's so cute. Look at me. Get me out of here. There's pumpkin. <laughs>